on-target bypassing with TargetLink and the RTI Bypass Block Set. Creating an ECU Interface Manager project from scratch. This video will show the following information. Program Overview Creating a new project Basic program features This video introduces the following application panes. The Library pane gives a quick overview of all target systems and software modules available in the project. The Configuration pane provides a detailed tree view of the current application. It is the main pane for configuration purposes. First of all, you need to create an empty project for this demo. Before you can add an actual ECU application, you need to specify the microprocessor of the target platform. This is done by adding a processor from the library to the configuration. Afterwards, you can add the ECU application you want to prepare for bypassing to the library. Therefore, you have to import a software module description file. This file contains a reference to the actual ECU application as well as additional information. The additional information includes program hierarchy, functions, variables, memory layouts, and so on. The library pane shows only the application's top-level functions. The configuration pane provides a full-featured, searchable and filterable call tree, including the variables of the software module. Now the basic project is set up. In a next step, you can start integrating bypass services and service calls into the application.